as the two sides come out onto the pitch again. I will read through those two teams for you again. And it's, uh, we'll go start with our visitors. And the goal is Louis Connor. Two is Dan Summerfield. Three, Lee Thomas. Four, Andrew Gallina. Five is Lewis Ricky. Six is James Reich as the captain. Seven is Ellie Bacco. Eight is James Hancock. Nine, Michael Taylor. Ten is Will Grocott. And eleven is Ben Stevens. For the Rebels, Jack Turner is in goal. Two is Sean Fraser. Three, George Wells. Four is Adam Inns. Five and the captain is Mark Nisbet. Six is Lee Togwell. Seven is Nathan Webb. Eight, Simon Dunn. Nine, Manny Williams. Ten, Brad Watkins. Eleven, Warren Harris. Those are your starting eleven today. And we've also got a mascot today who's uh, Paddy Whelan, who's one of the junior rebels here. And he's got a reduced mascot day experience because he is a member of the junior rebels. Today's match sponsor for the game is the Barmy Army. And again, congratulations to them. Their continued support getting uh, game sponsored and what they do is great. Just goalkeepers are happy. Everyone's happy and everyone's happy. He kicks off here. Slow with the ball. He'll play to George Wells. Wells pummels the ball down the field. Looking for Watkins. Watkins wins the first header. Headed away in the centre. Only comes back towards Watkins. Watkins gets fouled there. And it's an early foul for the Rebels. It's a free kick to Slough. Foul on Brad Watkins. This is a good position. Around about 30 yards away from goal. It's played into the box by Dunn. Headed away well. Comes to the far post where Warren Harris will try to keep that ball in. And he does so down in the far corner. Up against Thomas. Harris plays it off Thomas and it just bounces off the corner flag for a throw. Slough, Stratford just trying to defend this one here as we wait for Dunn to take this corner. Goes deep to the far post. Three is Mark Nisbet. Just mistimes his run but keeps hold of the ball just at the edge of the area. Goes past one and then chips the ball in towards the far post. Up in the middle, it uh, bounces around. Comes here towards Simon Dunn. He hits it hard and it's come off uh, Taylor for another corner it's in the halfway line. Plays a little ball in here towards Williams. Williams will play it in towards Watkins. Watkins finds Dunn. Dunn just forced to play it fine. Runs Williams on the edge of the box. Williams still has it. Just trying to get a bit of space. Comes out here towards Dunn. Dunn's ball breaks kindly towards Wells. Wells chips it across far post. Watkins drives out and bounces. Hits Warren Harris on the shin. It's around. It's one back by Backer, but he's been taken off that by uh, Nathan Webb. He finds George Wells. Wells looking to shoot from distance there. The goalkeeper had come off his line. Watkins, Watkins rises high, wins that header, finds Manny Williams, runs into Gallina, and the ball's played out here on the far side to Thomas. Thomas under pressure from two slab players, nicks off him by Nathan Webb, Webb just brings the ball in, gets a lucky uh, ricochet, wins the ball, cuts back inside, looking for Warren Harris, eyes and lonely balls Harris, who gets behind the thread, crossed into the centre, Watkins trying to get there first, just it's a little bit behind, and he's tried to arch his back, and Dunn will find Wells, Wells draws the ball down, comes off the foot of Hancock's, headed away there, by Recky, but uh, played away by Nisbet. Comes in the centre to Grocon. Lovely touch by him, finds Backer. In towards Stephen. Stephen shoots first time, but uh, it's an easy save for Jack Turner. Williams just pushed back and he's back towards Togba. Finds Nathan Webb. Webb will spread it here towards Dunn. Dunn playing on this left wing side. Gets a really good cross in. Far post. Warren Harris sends it down towards Inns. Inns at Grenadier trying to stop him. And it's a corner in the end. It was kept in well by Warren Harris. Flicks it in towards Inns. Inns' first touch was uh, a little bit high now with this routine played by uh, Short towards Williams Williams hits it from the edge of the box oh it just goes wide of the post and Warren Harris was there just trying to flick the ball in we couldn't get a touch on it was wide of the goal and Recky looks like he's lining up a long throw into the box judging by where the Stratford players are standing Is a long throw in the box looking for Taylor headed away well way in edge of the box it's hit oh forced a great save by Turner from Summerfield ball still in play with Stevens, oh, Snow just nicks it back here with a touch by Fraser. In towards Warren Harris. Harris chasing with the ball. Two players collide, the two number 11, Stevens and Harris. Ball played in here towards Taylor. Just overrun. It's now here with Wells. Wells with the ball finds Manny Williams. Manny Williams can turn. Finds Warren Harris on the far hand side. This time it's a back four of uh, uh, Stratford. Oh, the goalkeeper's dropped the ball. Bounces around. Summerfield, the, the right wing back, is there in the end to clear the ball. We need to try and make one of these. Set pieces count. As he whips the ball into the box. Teddy goal was by Brad Watkins. In fact, it's uh, taken a touch off Recky. Plays it in this time deep. Teddy goal was by Inns. And it's a good save by Connor in uh, the Stratford goal. Just pushes the ball around the post. Haven't capitalised on it yet. Still 0 0. Four minutes before half time. 
Fraser looking to take it. Gains to the far post. Headed back in by Nisbet. Grocott's got the chance to clear. Only comes as far as Webb. Webb takes the ball in his stride. Just turns. Holds the ball up. In towards Warren Harris. Harris trying to release Nisbet. Nisbet gets to the byline. Plays it across. Watkins tries to get there. It's a great tackle in the end by Recky. Who just gets there first. And now Slough got some defending to do. But uh, as ever, Tugwell covering for the two centre-backs. Corner must just have a built in watch that tells him it's 30 seconds to play. Plays the ball and it is indeed half time here at Arbor Park. It's 0 0. And uh, both goalkeepers have been tested worse now. They've had the better of the possession and the, the, the chances here. They've had a lot of corners but have yet to capitalise from it. And uh, they'll maybe look to change a few things around at half time with those kind of things. Maybe the introduction of James Dobson, maybe kick for Stratford here. Aims for Stevens on the far hand side. Fraser wins the header. It's now looking for a free kick. Doesn't come. And Stevens manages to get the ball here for Stratford. In towards Thomas. Thomas back here towards Gallimer. Gallimer's ball hits Watkins straight in the face. Come back here though towards Togwell. Togwell finds Dunn. Dunn with the ball over the top. Looking for Watkins. Watkins takes it down well. Gets goal side. Oh, it's a good block in though. But comes back out towards Dunn. Dunn looks to shoot from distance. Shoots. It's a great save by Connor. In towards oh, Harris. A superb defended by Thomas. He manages to slide in and block it. Ince has a bit of space, looking up to find Williams. Williams trying to flick the ball on to Harris, but uh, Thomas comes through. Ball over the top for Taylor. Taylor's actually on side. He's just got the goalkeeper to beat. He's trying to score. He does, and Stratford take the lead on 54 minutes. The goal coming from Mike Taylor. So, uh, yeah, 54, definitely the time there. And it's the lead for Stratford. A simple ball over the top. As Snell will run the wrong position. Just the goalkeeper to beat. And Taylor does exactly that, draws the keeper out and then strips it, sorry, just dinks the ball. And uh, it's uh, Connor with this goal kick, huge kick here, aimed again for Taylor. Taylor looks to a foul but he, he flicks the ball on all the way through to Turner, the referee just lets the play go. Turner takes it quickly here on the far hand side, Dobson wins the header, finds Dunn, Dunn trying to flick it on, bursts in towards Dobson into the box, just forced away from Goal. Dobson still has the ball though. Crosses goalwards. Floods there with a header, but it's a good save though. Straight at Connor. And Turner rushes forwards to take this one. Pumps that ball all the way down the field. It's been allowed to bounce and come through to Dobson. Dobson hooks the ball into the penalty area. Underneath it is Watkins. Watkins got pushed off the ball there. That is either really good defending or a penalty. It's taken by Fraser in towards Turner. Turner being chased down, but Manchester play the ball forward, looking for Watkins, Recky wins the header, comes off Grocott last, looking for Fry on the far hand side, Dobson gets there first, Dobson trying to break past it, does so, hits it in hard and low, oh what a save that is by Connor in the Stratford goal, the ball played in by Dobson with real pace, Flood just pokes a foot at it and I think it's caught the goalkeeper in the face, that is a stunning save. As far as Nisbet, Nisbet finds Togwell, Togwell's inside his own half, back towards Turner. Turner just brings the ball 15 yards outside of his area. The ball at his feet. Chips it on the far hand side looking for Flood. Flood flicks the ball in towards the path of uh, Wells. Wells on that left hand side finds Dunn. Dunn with a quick touch in towards Wells. Wells then finds Nisbet to Dobson. Back in towards Nisbet. Nisbet halfway inside the Stratford half. Back here towards Dobson. Dobson knows to cross the ball first time. It's a good cross. It's over the head of everyone. So now we'll try and keep the ball in, but it's going to go out of play for a throw as we enter the last 15, 16 minutes of this second half. Ball play forward. That's a free header there for Retchy. Comes through to Seamus, but it's won by Inns. Watkins trying to get the ball, bounces down. Smash forwards by Hancock. Again, looking for the run of Taylor. Taylor trying to get there. Turn has to head the ball away for Slap. It's hit first time by Grocott. Save by Turner with his feet and then Taylor puts it over the top of there but he's got to be in an offside position line though. by Wells in towards Dunn back towards uh, Wells and Dunn just play a little one two headed away though and then hooked clear by Hancock comes towards Stevens holds the ball up again that ball over the top for Taylor Taylor's in a foot race with Fraser he gets the first he shoots he hits the post ball comes out comes out towards Togwell he can clear flicked on by uh, Warren Harris in towards Flood for first four now immediately hits the ball forwards. Flood comes to deep to get the ball there for Snell and finds Togwell. Togwell inside his own half. Looks up, ships the ball forwards. Looks like Nisbet has been urged forwards. Oh, ball comes in towards Inns. Inside the box. Inns tries to shoot. It's blocked. Comes through to Dobson and Dobson blazes that one. 
Everyone's in. Oh, even, oh Sean Fraser's come back. Ball played into the far post. Henry Gowers. It's an equaliser! And it ends! Heads it into the back of the net. And Slough got an equaliser here. In the 93rd minute of the game. Inns rises high at the edge of the six yard box. And Turner will take a touch. The referee's not even got this whistle close to it. He has now. It's the final whistle here. And Slough has somehow managed to scrape with a 93rd minute equaliser from Alan Inns. They've had all the pressure here at Arbor Park. The attendance here just good. Right, the attendance today was 4-3-3 and the Slough Town man of the match has been given as Warren Harris. But Slough have had so much of the ball here today. They've had numerous amounts of corners, but they've not been able to beat a solid Stratford defence until the 93rd minute when the ball came in from a Dobson corner and it was the Inns who rises high to head the ball in.